Hey folks, Kulikian here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Prison Architect. This is still the version 2 preview. I wonder when it's going to stop being a preview. For all I know, by the time you see this episode, it will have stopped, but that it is for now. We've got our prison, which is, well, it's fine. Everything is fine. We don't have to worry about it. Um, hey, no deaths in the last 24 hours. Actually, that's a surprise. Didn't we get like seven deaths one day? There's going to be a fair amount of that. We've got gangs turned on. We've got, you know, not the most um, um, sort of inmatey, controlly kind of structure because, you know, deaths and chaos are fun. We got our dormitories here for our medium security people, which I think are very cool. This one's much more open. That's not going to make them quite as happy. Actually, I don't think any of these particular setups count as privacy, but yeah, see, there's some privacy need going on there, for example. Um, but it feels like, you know, you should get a little bit of privacy stuff. I suppose it would be really easy for me to just put little doors here and have individual cells. Uh, no, they would need toilets in there, so we are saving a little bit of money by having the communal toilets. Anyway, we've got our um, our little garden set up over here, our forestry, so we can start making some wood, which we could sell, but we really want to set up our industries relatively soon. We're getting a new dormitory over here. Right now, money's a little bit tight. We are going to pull in only three people tomorrow, and the question is, do I actually want to go above our limit there? Well, why don't I just start... The only thing you're complaining about is lack of beds, right? Why don't I go and make this a really ridiculously high capacity thing. Maybe I'll, I'll leave two steps between the bunk beds so that they don't feel quite as crammed, but, um, but yeah, and then like that. If we get these in here, there we go, now we're broke, but as soon as they're in, uh, we can accept more prisoners, which means we'll get more of an initial grant and so on and so forth and just really really power this up. This is going to be a ridiculous number of people in here. Now, is there an actual hard cap to the number of prisoners you can have in a prison? There might be. I assume at some point you mostly get slowdowns, but it'll be quite interesting to see. Uh, logistically, this has to be set, no, deploymently, this has to be set to medium security only. And we could probably leave this locked open. Especially for now, it'll help our flow a lot more. So capacity goes up, you can see we're going to take in some more normal security people. Excellent, wonderful. The normal security people also have more turnover because... Oh, hello. There's an escape. Um, shake down. I don't suppose I can put some staff out there, huh? Oh, I don't have any money. I guess I can put regular guards. There we go. Catch the escapees. Um, yeah, these are my medium security people escaping. Oh my. I did set up the fence over here for for this area, although I want to extend it just as a max security people or area over here. I want to get more fence. So obviously we're going to have to do that. When we get our money in the morning, we'll probably put up a lot more fencing. So I suspect we still got one escaped. Oh, not yet. You're injured. Where are you going though? No, I'm just checking things out. Looks like all the escaping prisoners have been beaten up through a little bit of gamey kind of stuff but there we go that's okay we got our dogs out here that's true looking for tunnels although they don't path all the way around so this area i think is going to get filled in that's one of the reasons we didn't fence it in because it's actually going to be part of the building over here and this dormitory does have a long way to, to go if they want to escape out but these guys here we do have to be a little bit on the nervous side because it would not take them a great amount of distance to dig out so we're going to want to extend our fencing and do something like that, and maybe got a dog patrol as well. What I think I might do is set up a dog run here, just like a narrow little fenced area, and get a dog patrol that goes back and forth. It's probably a very good idea. Shakedown underway. Capacity up, prisoners arriving. People are certainly going to be cranky because of the unnecessary search. Also, uh, during the search, well, I was going to say sometimes they get confined to their room. It is sleep period. This will wake them up and disturb them which they're also not going to be happy about. But overall, it's not going to be too bad. So this will probably result in a bunch more people going into solitary. In fact, our solitary is, again, just filling up like mad. Um, How come we've got some low-sec people in the solitary over there? Because this area didn't get assigned a security model so that that could be shared. Although by default... Um, well, no, high sec people will show up there. Okay, with these getting built, I think now is a great time for me to say, 
this is max sec only so any medium sec people should get transfer over here it'll change our capacity maybe a little bit and the only solitary for medium sec priority people will be over here which is not very many but that should be okay what i could do is um i could set up a couple more solitary over here for medium security people because these two are shared these are accept accessible only by max which is what I suspect most of my solitary cases will be, but that's not entirely true. We've got two places left before the shakedown is over. Where the hell are they? People bleeding to death out there. Still no one actually escaped. These people have got to be brought back into custody, though. And this tunnel... I don't think we actually found the tunnel during our shakedown, which is a little bit annoying. So we'll get rid of the exit... Um, but do we know what cell they came out of? I'm not sure. I guess I can just do another search of these toilets here. It's most likely that one, actually. Get tased, bro. What the hell? You just suddenly decide to snap? Oh, he picked up a truncheon! Maybe he doesn't want a cell to be searched. Oh my god, all these people just flipped! Simultaneously. Just like, I guess they just woke up and they were still in lockdown and they were unhappy about it because they wanted a shower or some damn thing. Look at how many people are snapping all of a sudden. They do not like this lockup stage. Well, no deaths, which is a little bit surprising. Alright, a lot surprising. There we go. There. Now you can... Well, these are still max sec, right? Because they're going to be still in lockup for a little while. Medium sec people get to have their shower, and then they'll have their shower afterwards. Oh, another fight going on. Get tased, bro. And our intake. All right, so we've got some cash again. There's the tunnel. Oh, my God! That's why so many people broke out. Holy cow. Color me incredibly impressed. That is a hell of a project that they uh, developed there. So this guy didn't even try to tunnel out. Well, it goes underneath that toilet, so maybe. But no, it's not open. You can see the opening is over here, so it's all these guys' room. Crazy sauce. Yeah, this this place. I mean, we got to build up this area here, but we also need... Um, well, we've got the dog patrol, which is good, but we need, I think, the double fencing. So, for example, why don't we get started on that right away? Mm, not perimeter wall. We'll hold off on that for a little while. But what I'm going to do is give us a certain amount of distance here, because it'll make digging out a little harder. So yeah, that far. Oh, it's like squeaky little sounds are really bad. And then to over there, although they'll probably get replaced with an actual building wall at some point. Um, do I want this wide open? I guess it doesn't really matter one way or the other. Yeah, it's probably fine. So then I'm going to get a jail door here. And then... Oh, I don't see the walls in the deployment mode. Okay, because I was going to set up my dog walk, but... Until I can see where the actual walls are. Well, I mean, I can sort of... Just guess over there. So deployment. Dog patrol. So this should be well within the walls. And... I don't know if you need to go to about here, but what the hell. Cancel you out. into about there just make sure no one can just tunnel directly underneath the fence and we'll sign you and what I'm gonna do is yeah we even had this little dog walk to catch that like I had set up but they just gone like one dot out because there was no fence they didn't have to go very far whereas here they'd have to go quite far so actually what I should do is change this dog run or dog patrol to be closer so that we will get them earlier in the digging process there we go something like that we may have to adjust it if we decide to build out further, but for now that's going to be fine, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. We've got this little area here, but the max sec people can still dig out a fair bit easier than I would like. There we go, to about here. Lots of people very unhappy. I mean, they'd be worried about their security and all kinds of things. So, then... I'm going to get a regular jail door here, and then I'm going to get a staff door, say here, from the forestry into there. And then I guess I'll set up another dog patrol. It's 
quite a long one, but again, they have to t um, tunnel relatively far to be able to make that work. Now, I've got a lot of people in uh, concealment. If I go to informant mode, what'll tell me, yeah, 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 so people pointed this out, you can find your potential CIs this way. So we're gonna recruit you. And then, yeah, I want to pop out of that selection because it kept zooming my view. Maybe if I just hit this button again. Lots of CIs. Because, you know, when the snitches get their stitches and die, I'll have more people to recruit. Now, I guess I gotta close that. There we go. Because if I hit escape, it just pops me out of the mode. I don't think this covers our, our maximum security people yet, though. These are the ones that we really want to have break. Ah, uh, no! I think you were max sec. Because I forgot that's a shared thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So let them roam around for a little while. What the hell are you up to? Everyone's got their shirts off. Are they just showing their gang tattoos? Because I think that's what's going on. Gang business, gang business. Yeah. They've all got their shirts off because of that. Now, we do have a cop in here. Now, you must be wired. Yeah, you're wired. There's just no one working you quite around right now. It's probably cycling through. Or didn't wire you the right way. Yeah, yeah, you're working now. So it's intermittently. You know, we probably do need a bigger security place with more of the um, more of the actual monitoring stations, but that's fine. All right, people are upset. Gang members are furious. Oh, their leader's being punished. Right? Yeah, that we've we've been through one of those before. Gang leaders in solitary. Gang is not happy. Well, then your gang leader has to stop doing bad things. I think we might tell our max sec people that, like, they can free fire. Because when the gangs start to riot, things are bad. I don't know. It's a little early yet, but it's tempting. Meanwhile, we can get some more armed guards. So I think we will. They're expensive. But I think it's worth the investment to go up to our, our cap and armed guards over here. Uh, we've got lots of candles, so we can get plenty of dog handlers. In fact, I'm going to go and get an extra couple to make sure that those routes are always being handled. In fact, it might be a good idea for me to double up on the patrols. So it's a relatively long route. And with that in mind, do I still have some money? Yeah. You get a, two more dog. Let's bring it up to ten. Because we've got a total number of six patrols at any given time. That gives us four extras for resting. You know what? I think I'm pretty comfortable with that. Hopefully we can feed all the prisoners. Again, you can't use this meter properly because you only feed half your prison at a time. It's kind of odd, but hopefully it's okay. Not all the cookers are in use, which might mean, you know, we have more than enough um, food, or it might be that we need more cooks. Oh, there's a death. Gang member killed by rival gang. And that's probably what's happening over here as well. Can I grab one of my armed guards to come down here? Get in there. Two deaths. Well, on the bright side, it wasn't from rioting or anything like that. Also, the uh, temperature is going down dramatically here, so that's good. Lots and lots and lots of armed guards deploy if shit goes bad. They're very expensive, but actually our income's pretty good. And we can get another big boost of cash quite quickly if um, if we just, you know, get some more people um, deployed in. Or, um, um, deployed in, since so they just did deployment. Um, just our intake. Let's have a permanent one of you around there. Make sure we've always got one in the canteen as well, please. Lots of visitation available. Showers, food... People using their telephones, which is good because it satisfies the family need during a meal time. It's very convenient for that. Uh, we've got our phones being tapped, which is good. Hopefully, we'll get some information there about things. I mean, we don't have to worry about catching contraband, which is actually one of the useful things um, with the telephone tapping. You find out if contraband is going to be thrown over the fence, but no one's allowed back here. Well, that's not strictly true. Uh, well, they can't reach there because they'd have to go outside. And here we have it flag staff only, but just in case, I will flag these whole areas as flag o as staff only at some point. To 185 prisoners, a little bit of intake to replace some of the dead people. This is very crowded and very, very scary. 
I could think about my shifting, maybe, um, especially with where the canteen is. Maybe there's another way to route the prisoners around. That's okay. A little bit of yard time over here. Found some cigarettes being smuggled into some of the food. Someone's got a screwdriver kicking around here, which is just going to become even worse once we start getting our classes up, right? Because we're talking about having um, prisoners with access to a lot more dangerous tools. But we will, of course, have the... Um, the metal detectors there at well, which will help. All right, that's good. Income coming in a little bit. So I think what I'm going to keep doing for now is keep building bunk beds over here. And actually, I should wait, save a little bit of money in case I want to do something until like maybe just before the intake and then just drop all my money doing that. So we'll get a certain amount of cash there. What do we got? Oh, cell block D is about to finish. That's going to be really nice, actually. Huge intake. Give prisoners more free time. Right, right now they have six hours a day free time. Which is also potentially a recipe for disaster. It's also, it's potentially a recipe for keeping them happier. But it might be a recipe for disaster. Um, are there, there must be a radio. Otherwise, I'm betting it would be crossed out. Where the hell else did I put a goddamn radio down? That's a television. Is that, are you, is your name Butt? <laughs> Um, I had put one down over here, but I don't anymore. The dorm here has got a TV, but that's it. I mean, I'm assuming, I thought I got them all. Maybe it's just there anyway. There's no radio in here. No radio in the common room. That's just television. Phones, TVs. Oh, Polaroid. Neat. Yeah, I don't know. Do you not have any lights in your office, Mr. Psychiatrist? Well, that's... Or psychologist. That's not going to help. Uh, those are not what I'm looking to do. Lights. That's not going to help the mood of people in here. There we go. Symmetrical. Well, mirrored. But uh, lots and lots of light. We got that going on. All right, all these shirtless gang members going around. Oh, oh, everyone's being sniffed by the dog. It's a little scary. Dogs are scary, but also friendly. Um, can you even keep this clean while the water's still flowing? Apparently you can. Lots of janitors. And yeah, we do need a bigger security room. We can convert this into, I don't know what. More morgue space, maybe. Um... Oh. All right. A little bit of a skirmish, but we're fine. Serious complaints. So what are the complaints right now? People lacking sleep. There's a lot of people looking for exercise. You both have yard time. What time is it right now? Doesn't it, does it show here? Yeah, right over here. Are they not work? Do their, their yard time properly? Do they not go to the yard during their free time and exercise? Maybe there's not enough exercise benches, but it seems like there are. I don't know. You set up like a basketball court for these guys. I think there was a mod for that. It was highlighted in one of the videos. I think we're going to have an independent power generator for the workshops. It still has some capacity, but it's probably going to feed, say, these um, these extra blocks over here, the higher security blocks. All right, this is all closed in, right? So if I go to deployment rules, staff only, bam, just to make sure. And actually, that's staff only as well. And then this will be once we close it in. By default right now, this is staff only by virtue of the fact that people can't get out. Oh, actually, people were wandering around out there and probably getting contraband. And it's bad because there was a staff door there, which is not the most secure. Yeah, they were definitely supposed to be staff only. Maybe they, was it was staff only and I broke it at some point. That's entirely possible. Um, maybe through one of the doors or something. Some of the labeling changed over here. We've seen that sort of thing happen before. I think that was a, someone's got a built, like a, a homemade little truncheon. I think that was the icon club. We can take a look at the um, last 24 hours. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, it looks like a stick. Like an old broom handle. That's, yeah, club is what they label it as. That's scissors and things like that. Um, stolen from. Oh, do I not have, oh, that's a mistake. 
Uh, first of all, I'm going to dismantle that door. Secondly, I'm going to put a metal detector right here. There should definitely, definitely be... Because the people who come into the prison... Well, we don't even have a metal detector here. But the people who come into the prison, they don't actually get um, checked. I think they can walk through metal detectors perfectly fine. Uh, ooh, visitor booth. We own three radios, but I don't think they're deployed. Let me put that there. That way, everyone who's just finished their visitation will get scanned. And hopefully that'll cut back on contraband a little bit. Uh, we'll probably have to set up a power connection there. Likewise, we'll probably need... I'll put this here, although again... Actually, let me do that. I mean, I don't think it matters what orientation these are set in, but just a random little checkpoint plus anyone coming through here will get uh, metal detected. And that seems like a pretty good idea. And then, yeah, electrical cable needs to reach there, and you will already be covered, which is good. So just a random other little checkpoint, but also happens to be at my prison door, which is good. Yeah, see all this stuff? The cooks. Now, that would have been picked up on its way into the kitchen, because I do have metal detectors there. But the sooner it gets detected, probably the better. Uh-oh. Really? In here? Spoiling. What the hell is spoiling? Just smashing things? Spoiling for a fight. That's probably what it means. Yeah, get tased, bro. Now, it's free time and eating time right now. I think this is a good time to call in our CIs. Which, I'm probably going to get them killed, because that's how I tend to treat my uh, my CIs. But, um, it's not just activate all button. There you go. Oh gosh, in the middle of a fight, too. Probably lose some of my CIs. There we go. Get quizzed. Oh, lots of dead guards. Holy cow. Zero today. What? Oh, because it's a new day. Right, but how many in the last 24 hours? Seven. Dead. Dead guard. Uh, we got a little bit of money. Let's probably hire a few more. 50. You know, we don't have the greatest ratio here, but we do have a lot of armed guards. Actually, one of our armed guards died. Holy crap. Because there were 11 of 12 there. That is freaky. Gonna get in some more prisoners over here. Oh, our capacity's still not at um, at a hundred, which I definitely want. Two more bunk beds would do it. Oh, oh, it's not the same spacing. Well, actually, one more bed. Uh, no, two more. Yeah, because we need four. We'll hit us, give us a bunch of money. People getting carted away. Th that's a high security guard there that got killed. Two regular guards, one high security guard, and then some dead prisoners, I think. Who we left in the morgue? Yeah, right over there. Man, oh man. Get the wood set up for export. Yeah, that should finish that. Is this zone done yet? I think it might be. Staff only? Good. Alright. And I set up the dog patrol. Yep, good. So hopefully we'll catch those tunnels before they actually reach the fencing. No more escape attempts. Well, they can still try to tunnel out, but hopefully they'll be unsuccessful. When is this going to end? It's a weird event. Maybe it's permanent. Never build a radio. I guess I could check over here. Box contains radio. So I can dump you. Yeah, and dump you. And there's a third radio. So I'm going to dump you. And this will actually officially drop my radio count to zero. I have no radios. Okay. Unless that doesn't count installed ones, which actually is true. Fuck's sake. There turns out to be a radio somewhere. Probably accidentally put one somewhere completely weird that doesn't make any sense. What is this? A bit of flooring? Yeah, probably. It's not in the common room. Yeah, I don't know. 
I'll have to check the comments again. Um, oh, what do you want, Warden? Yes? Subsidence of the land has destroyed a section of our outer wall. You should have it repaired immediately. Okay, that's fine, because this wall is not core to the integrity of the prison. So that's okay. Although I'll probably have to reclassify this as um, staff only. Which is annoying. But it's hardly the end of the world. Right, so um, my CIs... <laughs> See, this is always going to happen. Um, I never, like, went and canceled them, so they probably have super huge suspicion. I don't know. It's not flagged right now. I don't suppose any of you guys are willing to become CIs. Yeah, like you. It's good, because we're going to need some replacements soon. And you. These are high sec as well, so that's going to be very handy. Kate's. Escape attempt and everything. Wow. So yeah, get some more information about who's what. Gang members. An extremely tough, stoical, skilled fighter gang member. Yeah, that's not a recipe for disaster at all. Jesus. All right, uh, sub block D done. If we take a look at our grants, is there anything else we want to grab? E is what? 500 capacity. Wow. But we are going to get working on our manufacturing and what the hell, long-term investment as well, which actually reduces our current funds, but that's going to be okay. So yeah, I really want to get the workshops up and running. Now, I don't remember, is there just, is there a carpentry and then another workshop, or is it just the same? That's license plates. I think it's just the same. So, how do we want to shape this? I'll just make a long workshop. Sure. Something like that. And then, yeah, you require an entrance. I'm going to give you a... Um, I'll put a jail there door for now, but it's probably... Actually, we'll probably have to keep... Cancel that. We're going to go with a big door. Because if there's a right, we don't want people to be able to just storm into the workshop and steal a bunch of stuff too easily. We might lock it open, though. Although, we found out, I think, the doors that are locked open... Okay, yeah. Lockdown does work the way, I think. Okay, good. So, even the ones that are locked open will shut if I hit lockdown. Although, then the staff don't open and close doors anymore. Right. Because the whole thing is in case a prisoner steals a key or some damn thing like that. Mm, yeah, that's right. That was the problem. It's a little bit annoying, but I guess it's fine. I'll just have to try to remember to close the door. All right, intake, just a little bit. Gives us some more money. And yeah, we could get ready for the next big intake, but I think I'm going to spend my money developing our workshop finally. We still need people to pass these courses, which is hard because people keep dying and get locked up. Foundation education program, people are working on it. Also, there's not enough free time to run quite as many classes as I would like. Look at this behavioral therapy. So many people. Zero percent passed. Well, 13 people have passed the drug treatment. That's actually really, really helpful because you get less people craving drugs and therefore snapping from it. Spiritual guidance. Some people even pass that, which is interesting. Workshop safety induction. Yep, there's definitely a demand for it, which is really nice to see. There's our intake. That's where I still heard some tasers going off. Um, we've got our metal detectors over here, which will be handy. That one over there, which is going to be great. Some partial watching over here. Would be nice to see some more. But they don't know that it's, it's, the camera doesn't work half the time. Hell, it could be a fake camera. There's no way of, for them to know. Yeah, we'll probably need some more guards as well, just to help open closed doors and things. Pro use some of the prisoners. But there's a decent amount of idle ones right now. Now, does it include... Yeah, the idle ones don't count the ones that are um, just resting. So that's good. So those are truly idle guards, which is actually not bad at all. So this is just about to completely wrap itself up here. I mean, it's basically done now. So, room, workshop, big one. And 
then the workshop itself. Saws and carpenters tables. And then it also needs actual tables. I'm going to start with that. They're also going to need lights. I don't think they're even. Oh well. It's a low budget prison. Got that, and we will definitely need power. And specifically, I'm pretty sure the power needs to run there for that. And we'll also need um, the other one somewhere for these things once they get installed. <laughs> and then logistically, prison labor. So, I mean, I can say we can take up 20 laborers, although they're not qualified yet. Um, and then more importantly, well, we're going to wait for more things to get set up. Oh, yeah, I want to lock this open for now. And we get another death. I think that said a guard died. I'm not sure. Let's get our armed guard back. Few more regular guards as well. Just get ready with tasers. Although they have to take their taser course before they actually get their taser equipped. Oh, prison riot! Bang up. Everyone responsible, go back to your rooms. Everyone, like, who is a responsible prisoner, go back to your rooms. We want to minimize how much traffic there is outside. Alright, the riot has already stopped. That's going to interrupt with some of our meal times here. Try to let the, the prisoner, the prison um, temperature just drop a little bit. All right, alleviate the lockup. So while that's going on, I'm gonna go back to uh, planning my programs and start our workshop safety induction, which then leaves the list and goes somewhere else. There it is. There we go. So we've got one for both shifts over here, and some people are interested as well. All right, no riot anyway. Serious complaints. Well, some people may have just missed their meals. That would be a pretty serious complaint. Well, they're complaining about safety, and yeah, some people are really, really hungry right now. Well, you know, too bad, no food. Riot started in the middle of meal time. You're gonna do a food fight? Nah, I don't think so. Um, since our prison population is going up a little bit, I'm gonna throw in a couple more cooks over here. Try to help maintain this. Got people washing dishes. That's actually, um, there's potentially a backlog of these trays here. We may need an extra sink or three. Not that there's room in here for that. Hmm. All right. Workshop press. Yes, yeah, so that's for the license plate. Do not need... Oh, the, the saws? Oh, right, because they're just workbenches. They're not, they don't need electricity. That's right. But these definitely will. So anyway, I'm going to run electrical cable that comes in like that. And then probably one that goes like this and like that. There we go. A new class for you guys. You guys can learn electronics. Wow, this place is filthy. Filthy, filthy. Because we don't run as many shifts, I don't think we got as much prison... Well, we don't have as much prison labor going on, which means there's not quite as much cleaning going on. So hiring some more janitors right now would be good. Plus, we've got more space and just more people, which generates more dirt. So it's entirely reasonable to provide some more. People showering during their free time. Good. A little bit of yard time. Hopefully, people actually exercise instead of just start fights here. We might need some more snipers. Now, their yard time's only one hour right now, and it's maybe they need more time for that to kick in. But the problem being, I can't cut into their free time. Because I think, yeah, eight more hours, and then we can finally get rid of this six hours of free time per day bullshit. 
And with that in mind, we're going to put a cut in this video. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I will see you guys next time.